Hello and welcome everyone, Lanhart here with Pixelated Apollo. What's up guys? And we are here with a Total War Warhammer 2 exclusive. We have oh, yeah. a Dark Elf co-op campaign, Malekith and Marathi going at it on the Vortex campaign. Big thanks to Creative Assembly for giving us this early access. Um, we can pretty much do whatever we want with it. Um, we can't show you like the final battle or the last few rituals, but I don't think we're going to get that far. We've got basically six hours, which we're going to split up into six videos for you guys on each of our channels, and you can find them linked in the description down below. So make sure you subscribe to both so you don't miss out on this Dark Elf co-op action over the next few days. Um, I think... That's pretty much all we need to say from up here. So let's jump on in and start the campaign. Let's do it. One last thing I should mention, this is an early access build and not the final release build. It will get updated soon. So there may be a few bugs and crashes here and there. The world has seen countless murders, but one killing stands above all others. One death that has shaped the world. Malekith, son of Enerion, was betrayed. The elven princes crowned Belshanar as the second Phoenix King. So Malekith brooded and poured his hate into a single cup. Malekith toasted Belshanar, then stepped over his dying body and into the sacred flame of kings. But the fire stripped his flesh, and with a final scream, he hurled himself back from whence he came. His body was taken north, and a suit of armor forged. Malekith was reborn. The witch king, and in his shadow, Legions raised. Decades of civil war followed. Then Malekith embarked on the most ruthless of plans. His sorcerers would unbind the magic of the Great Vortex. Created by Kalidor Dragon Tamer and his elven mages, the Vortex siphons the winds of magic, keeping the demon tide at bay. Malekith's spell was flung at the Vortex. But Kalidor himself broke through the mists of time to deflect the titanic force back at its casters. The Shadowlands were ravaged, sundered. the heart of Alfwan. My son will take its power and our vengeance. Find the Oracle. She knows what to do. I am willing to serve to earn my soul's release. The fulfillment of a dark prophecy beckons my subjects. All have felt the unraveling of the Great Vortex by the Twin-Tailed Comet. Yet, 
We are not alone in seeking to yoke its power. The Undervermin march against us in number, driven to suicide against my wrath in service of some mad scheme. The Skaven run rampant across the wastes of Nagaroth in my absence, plundering its arcane resources. My return shall ensure their agonizing deaths, yet the Vortex remains the greater prize. It shall be mine. All right, so it looks like uh, looks like I'm gonna be the first one here with Morathi or Marathi. Uh, I've heard of people pronounce the name like both ways, so I'm sorry if I mispronounce it, but I'm sure it's not shadows. a big deal. But uh, yeah, I get one city here, and I think uh, I think we just go ahead and start expanding south here. Now you're north of me, right? I am indeed in the lands of Nagaroth. Nagaroth. Oh man, I love it. I'm your mommy, you're my son, and we're gonna achieve victory. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, get a couple of units here and take out, I believe the faction nearby, it's called Bleak Holds. So I'm already at war with them. I'm sure there's people in the comment section that will know way more about the law, so feel free to share it. <laughs> educate, oh, yeah. educate your fellow Total War viewers, and also that can stealthily educate myself and Apollo. And uh, yeah, right, but we're cool. in we're in Nagarond in the north. You're to the south, and we've got some mountains in between us. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna take us a little while to unite here, but um, that's all right. You know, we can focus on our things, and we'll group up and be ultra mega powerful. Um, but yeah, I've got this assassin here uh, that I can actually combine with my forces. So another little extra hero that I can. It's pretty cool. Like, I don't. In the other Warhammer, could you have assassins that could join armies but also do, like, campaign, like, missions to assassinate? Yeah, you had. Um, it was normally, like, the um, the melee fighter that could do the assassinate from the um, abilities and things like that against other heroes. I think, actually, they could all try and assassinate. All heroes could try and assassinate. So, obviously, that one's. Of maybe got a bonus against other, other units and what have you. Cool. So I just focusing on growth right now. Cool, cool. Got a nice like growth tech there. Right, that's your turn. So on to my first turn, and we've got Skaven Clan um, Septic. I like the name. Oh names. yeah, man. <laughs> oh, they so look nasty. Awesome. So yeah, I've got Malakith so. here. Um, I've got uh, Nagarond, my starting um, location. Starting province and uh, provincial capital, and I've actually got ten building slots here, which I'll unlock as uh, as I expand uh, Nagaron. Which that is, is crazy. Pretty cool. So I can I can fill up a lot of stuff here. So I'm just gonna go and upgrade the Nagaron Dark Elf Hold to start with. I've already got a conscription hall where I can get dark shards, my crossbow infantry, which are armor piercing, and uh, dread spears as my spear infantry. And there we go, Malekith himself over here. Quickly, just show you. All the skills, all the skills. I don't know if Grave Assembly have actually increased the number of skill points you get. Just otherwise, this is something I've always liked about the, how they do the skill point system is that you can't get every skill. I know some people don't like that, and there are mods for Warhammer 1 which allows you to get way more skill points. But I like that it has, it makes you have to think very carefully about how you want to spec out your character. And I guess it does give you some replayability with the same character, same legendary lord, because it means that, um, you know, you can spec him out differently next time. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Like you have to make a decision on how you want to go about your campaign. If like something happens, you really need like some abilities you can like really improve like public order if you're in a city. If you really need that, you know, you have to sacrifice a spell or something, you know. Yeah, you can cool. choose to make your your legendary lords like administrators or, or generals on the field of battle. So I've just attacked the uh, clan septic uh, vermich um, army. And uh, I'm actually going to chase him down because he's close to um, Ha Kaldra. And I'm pretty certain that there might be some Skaven in those ruins. So rather than him getting yeah. advantage on me, I'm going to just jump back into my own territory. And I'm going to recruit some more spears and two more Dark Shard crossbows. And then hopefully we can go and attack them next turn. Um, they're taking attrition out in the, in the uh, tundra there. So that's good. And research. I'm going to go for Founded on Tyranny because... Oh, actually, no, I lie. I'm going to go for Battle as Business. Then we'll go for Founded on Tyranny because I want to get that extra raiding income and post-battle loot. 
Ooh, nice, yeah. And I guess something, on his business. something we should say as well, like the kind of spe faction specific mechanic for the Dark Elves is uh, slaves. Um, so every time you fight uh, at the end of a battle, you'll get some slaves if you choose to um, enslave your captives and things like that. And that that is the kind of cornerstone of the Dark Elf economy. Yeah, yeah. Like originally, I, I you know, I was like, oh, here we go, another Elven faction. But the Dark Elves are they're dark, man. They're awesome. Uh, I love the slave mechanic because the more you fight, you, the more armies you'll need. But as long as you keep getting slaves, y your economy will be fine. But you just yeah. got to watch out from that public order. Yeah, you get you know? a massive penalty to public order if you keep building up slaves. So similar to, I guess, how slaves worked in, in like Rome 2, to be fair. like They could generate you a lot of extra income, but um, the public order payoff, especially for the Dark Elves, is rather insane. So... Um, yeah, you gotta gotta balance that slavery to uh, public order ratio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta watch out for that. But still, like the slaves, like helps the economy so much. Um, but it looks like I think we're gonna have our first battle here, dude. The uh, the enemy has actually gotten closer to Ooh. my army. Uh, I've got a war hydra. That's one of my special units. I start off with this nice. thing is uh, crazy awesome. Um, but yeah, I think I think with the war hydra, we should be able to um, deal with them. We'll see what happens here. Oh, of course, they're gonna flee. <laughs> Cowards. I will right, we'll chase them down though. Have you named the Hydra yet? I haven't. I haven't. Um, I was thinking about going with Fluffy, but I don't know. That might be too not original. <laughs> I don't know. Fluff. Fluff. Let's 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 see how the Hydra performs in, in the battle, and uh, yeah, then we can see that's, if that's he's worthy good. of such a name as Fluffy. All right, so we're killing some fellow. Uh, fellow uh dark elves here yeah battle of who, who, the moon shard i just love the fact that my faction is called cult of pleasure <laughs> like that's just awesome oh man i've got a i'm really trying to resist not breaking out into uh, a bit of a song um, oh yeah a bit of a bit of a mother knows best <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh look that's at that right. hydra oh my god all right you will have the honors my friend <gasps> My very first okay. Hydra, thank you. Yes. It's got a rattle and everything. Oh, look yeah, at so it. the Hydra, it's it's really cool. Basically, it shoots off fiery balls of justice. And uh, <laughs> if you're in melee, you can't use that ability. So it's okay. a really, yeah, it's really interesting to like figure out when you need to charge it in when you, you know, don't want to charge it in. Yeah, we need to get it out of there. Yeah, but uh, I think I'm ready. Ooh, if you yeah. want to... You know, with the um, harpies, why don't you just like go and like deep in the forest there, since they are a vanguard, and you can. Oh yeah, that's true. If they have like archers or something, just pull them yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the music in this game is like, like I've got my music pretty loud. Hopefully, it's not too loud, but it is legendary. I love this. Oh, we found Ugh. some harpy. Oh, yeah. Harpy scouting party has found some. I don't think they've actually got any missile units, so I can kind of just sit over the top of them and be like, hello. <laughs> yeah, you could just... Oh, that's perfect. We're going to destroy them. And I, I do right. love the the passive ability for the Hydra. Another takes its place to sort of... A reference oh, to yeah. it losing a head. Another will take its place. That's awesome. Yeah, it always reminds me of that Disney Hercules movie. <laughs> right. It's like gonna, my favorite scene. I want to make these black art corsairs burn. Hydra. All right, let's do it. Blast them. Look at the, the drool coming down. Uh-oh. No, have I stopped you? No. I've stopped him. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. come back. <laughs> Run away. I think I accidentally pressed J, which well, that normally was... tells a unit to turn, turn around. Run away, Hydra. Run away. All right, there we go. That's all right. That's all right. I'll send the harpies in. Right, the Hydra right. will strike soon enough. Yeah, just get it out of that melee. There we go. Right, watch them burn. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Yes! Burn, baby, burn. Oh, you know what's weird? Um, I actually turned off projectile trails. Oh, okay. And it got rid of the flaming trail from oh. the Hydra. Oh, okay. So it just showed the so, hole. Yeah. I might, I might just need to turn that back on because it's epic seeing like them, you know, yeah, go for it. Fly. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, pretty simple battle here with not anything challenging. Uh, just mainly a show off for the Hydra. Yeah, pr pretty much. I love how you can- Oh, it's just jumped at me. <laughs> yeah. I love how you can see like bits of venom like oozing out of its mouth and stuff. Yeah. There you go. And all that's left is really their general. Oh, actually, they have some uh, dread spears. Nice. I'll pull the Hydra out so I can try and blast someone with some fire again. Come on, Hydra. Come on, Fluffy. If that's what <laughs> you're going to be called. Fluffy the Hydra. Fluffy, Fluffy or like Hank. <laughs> right. Burn those dread spears. Here we go. Oh, no. It just ate someone. Oh, no. Got interrupted. The lone elf. It's like a dark elf. He, he, he knows how the Hydra works. So he's like, I'll sacrifice, sacrifice myself. I may, be oh, burning, there we go. I may be burning some of your guys as well, but sorry, not sorry. You know sorry. what? That's war. <laughs> I've also seen we've just popped the Murderous Prowess, um, which is another faction kind of um, war about oh, to right. pop it, I think. We just need a few more yeah. kills to pop it. Actually, the enemy has popped it. Oh, it's the enemy. They've popped it. Damn. Yeah. Now yeah. we've got it. There we go. Everyone's going purple. Yeah, so if you kill a certain amount of people in a battle, uh, it will pop this special like ability that will give you a bunch of buffs. I'm trying to hover over it so I can get it right. So you get plus 15 leadership, plus 25% melee attack, plus 25% charge bonus, plus 20% armor piercing, missile damage, and plus 30% vigor when uh, Murderous Prowess pops. So it can give you quite the edge um, later on into the battle. So especially with Dark Elves, if you use the, if you use the uh, Dark Shards early on to really whittle away at your opponent, then you can finish them off with... Uh, with murderous prowess when that pops later on. Yeah, yeah, I think it's really strong. Like especially if you go into a battle where you're outnumbered, uh, you're gonna get a lot of kills, and by doing that, you'll get a bunch of, you know, buffs that could really help you win the battle. Nice. Oh, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to burn them as they escape, but they're getting, they're running away from the Hydra. Come back. <laughs> I don't blame them. Fluffy just wants to burn you with love. What's left of theirs? Oh, it's just their lord. Let's come back and deal with that. You've got Morathi in there. Yeah, she's she's just trying, trying to take out the cool. general. Yeah, you know. Now she's getting in there. There she goes. Nice. All Here right, comes the Hydra. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. I like how the out <laughs> how the outer heads like wiggle in. It looks so cool. Yeah. Yeah, they did a good <laughs> job with that. Man, that's awesome. Nice. It's all my favorite thing about the Dark Elves that Hydra. So much fun. Uh, 79 kills, not bad, not bad. I'll do, I'll do. Uh, well done, Flavi. Yeah. Good start. Pretty even spread with the kills, my army. Um, but you know, victory is all that matters. I think having those those dark shard crossbows with armor piercing is a real help early on. I mean, you're gonna need it because oh, everyone's yeah. just armored around you. All yeah, the, yeah. The dark elves and for sure. Yeah. So I'm, I think I'm gonna actually enslave uh, the captured soldiers. Nice. Get my economy going. Nice. That also replenishes your troops, right? Um, Cash I think so, yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start. I think I'm going to focus on magic, really, with my build. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get campaign movement first. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Root March is always good. Yeah. It's really, really get going, walking around. Nice. Plus, because of your... I think it's your assassin that gives you that ability. Um, You've got the... Income for post battle loot is plus fifteen percent from your assassin. Oh yeah, that's true. So very nice combo there. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty good. I think uh, I'm gonna end my turn here. Back to you, Lionheart. Thank you, mother. Man, this is just so much fun. <laughs> oh yeah, mother. <laughs> Thank you, mother mommy. Knows best. Uh, right. So we saw the Skaven go up towards <laughs> Ha Kaldra. I'm. I don't know if I should go in or if I should build up my forces. I do. Just go for it, man. Go for it. Mother's, Yolo mother, charge. Mother, mother says knows go best. for it. Mother yep. says go for it. So I'll go you for it. You can do it. Ah, but there is Skaven. There we go. Clan rat spears. Regular clan rats. Some Skaven slave slingers. I think I think we should um we should unleash the Reaper bolt thrower and my oh, yeah. uh, black guard of Negarond, which are my additional starting units. I think with another dark shard unit. So let's let's go and fight this one. So we're fighting that army that pulled back and the uh, the settlement garrison. Oh man, I I love this Skaven. Can't wait for this. 
Um, yeah, I mean, what are your thoughts so far of the campaign? How do you like the story-driven kind of stuff? I really like, I wasn't sure if I would enjoy something kind of that felt as directed as it, but it's certainly not, you're not on like, you're not railroaded by the, uh, by the campaign, but it, it's really nice to constantly get these little stories and quests and little missions coming up all the time that are like, yo, you should, you should go over and take this place for the scrolls or, or for the, for this ritual. It does seem to really add flavor to the campaign and I quite yeah, like it, for sure. but of course you still have the option to just do a domination and just take out certain factions if you want to. So I'm I'm keeping my Dread Spears and my Black Guard of Nagarond, which just look absolutely awesome. And Apollo, you've got all my Dark Shard crossbows and my Reaper uh, <laughs> all bolt right. thrower, which has two firing modes. Yes, yes. You can do like almost like this like canister shot. That's um, good. Or go and I think, switch that. I think I'm going to move forward a little bit. Don't know how yeah. close we can be to the bolt thrower. <laughs> yeah, it's probably, that's probably pretty smart. Oh, it went right over. There we go. Here it goes. Oh, nice. wrecking some Skaven. I love the rallies, the like horns in this game. It's just so awesome. All right, so I think I'm going to come uh, a little bit ahead of you. Okay. With my archers. Just get a couple early shots, maybe fall back once they get a little too close. Here we go. Come on. Fire! Oh. Uh, oh, that looks awesome with all the crossbows firing. Oh, we're already breaking them. Nice. How about you can just charge forward, I guess, when they get close enough. Yeah, I'm gonna go forward That'd now. Look, look pretty cool. Just gotta watch out for there. the uh, night runners flanking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna um, go for their their warlord with Malakith and try and uh, break them a bit. He's also I'm got actually, a yeah. chill wind ability as well, which looks pretty cool. Let's try that out. I'm gonna focus on that flank over there. So I'm gonna try and pull Malekith out and go for a... And try and use this wind from the flank. Nice. That's it. My black guard should be able to hold while I pull Malekith to the flank and then fire my chill wind blast. Oh yeah. Down. So That's that should work so pretty awesome. well. Come on Malekith. Come on, Mally boy. I think the lighting's quite good as well in this. I don't know if it's being changed, but it doesn't It seem... I mean, it's quite dark, but you kind of expect that fighting underground. Right, right. No, yeah, the lighting seems good. It does seem better really than, than uh, Warhammer 1. Right, Malekith, get ready for this chill right. wind blast. Oh, yeah, dude. Here we go. Boom! Nice. That's going to break some morale. <laughs> Hit him in the flank, Malekith. Oh yeah, look at that. And listen to this music, man. So good. It's pretty awesome. We're holding nicely in the middle. You've just been charged on the left, but that's okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's okay. They're running, they're running. Oh, yeah, you've got your crossbows in the middle, that's cool. Yeah. Run on yeah, down and do another... Too aggressive. Another chill wind. Yeah, unfortunately... Retreat, archers, retreat. Looking good, it's looking good. All right, these guys should break. You don't have to worry about them. Okay, let's go. Crossbows. Should focus them down. Come on. Nice. Damn rats. There we go. Yeah, so they kind of keep coming back in waves to, to fight again. Thankfully, my yeah. dread spears are ready to take them on for the next charge. So, I mean, yeah, this game do have a lot of numbers. I mean, they had uh, 1,600 rats against our 800. We've nearly got enough for murderous prowess, which is good. Yeah. Yeah, obviously a very horde-type faction, so always expect a lot of rats to fight. Chill wind. Let's go. I love that ability. It's so good. <laughs> oh, man. It reminds me of, like, um, you know, Incredibles. I forgot his, oh, uh, like, yeah. Mr. Freeze or... Free, what? No, it's like, I forgot his name, but yeah. Well, we've just got Murderous Prowess popping as well, so that's going to finish them off. Oh, yeah. Flee, Skaven, flee. I bet that's a really good ability against the Skaven because of how many there are. You can yeah. really rack up a lot of kills. You have to kind of sort of stand your ground and brace for sort of multiple waves of attack from them. 
And it's good to see them actually uh, kind of flanking us there and going behind our, our battle line. I'm going to end the battle there because yeah. it's, a, it's a settlement battle, so they'll all die. Yeah, I was, that's some, one thing I forgot to mention is that the AI seems to be not, like, amazing, but, like, they seem to do ba basic tactics, you know? Yeah. Pretty well. Malekith got 106 kills with that chill wind. Uh, looks like you got loads. Whoa, 187 with the dark shots. With the cross. Oh, yeah, I know. That's And crazy. the Reaper Bolt throw, 147. That's good. Yeah. Even more killed and, killed and enslaved. Right. So that's a victory. And the infantry did well. Yeah. I'm going to go for... I mean, I think I'm going to loot and occupy because I, I want the slaves. I want a little bit of extra money and I want to take the settlement plus the replenishment rate as well. We're going to get a rebellion anyway because of all the slaves we're going to be taking. So that's yeah. fine. We'll just use that as free XP to level Malekith up a bit more. Oh, yeah, minus, exactly. Minus 47. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Rebellions aren't too bad as long as you get them pretty early. Yeah. Unless yeah. you wanna unless you wanna really buff that public order back up, but then you have to face a full stack. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm gonna grab Root Marcher as well, I always do that. And uh, can I recruit some more units? I can, so I feel like we need two more spears and another dark shards. That's looking pretty Never good. Never get enough crossbows. Yeah, cross crossbow crossbow spam early on is, is the way forward. Uh, I mean, we're oh, still yeah. doing we're still doing well with our income. I'm getting 1,343, and again, that's because wow. we've got 293 slaves currently at Nagarond, and we're getting an income of 536 just from that. And I've also, um, when you select a, a province, you'll get three options for slaves, which is receive slaves, which you'll get them at the normal share, um, I guess distributed across your territories. If you request additional slaves, then you'll get three times the normal share sent to that province. And then you can also say no more slaves. So if you've got lots of public order problems and you don't want to increase it, then you can say you can stop sending slaves to a certain province. Uh, or I guess if there's a province that's not really, it's on your front line, you're going to lose it and you don't want to lose slaves being sent there, you can just do that and then they'll get redirected elsewhere within your empire. Um, yeah. I'll just, I'll just show the objectives because I'm sure someone in the chat is going, what's your objective? And like the, the objective of the co-op is complete all rituals, win the following battle, which is the final battle, which we're, n we're not going to get up to within the sort of six hours that we're, we're, we've, we've got with this exclusive gameplay for you guys. But hopefully we can get up to at least the ritual of the Tortured Oracle, the first ritual, and maybe onto the second, the ritual of the Hated Foe, and show you guys that. Um, yeah. Also got various okay. rights, which I'll just go through quickly because these are these apply for both me and Apollo. So we've got sacrifice to uh, Atharti, sacrifice to Hecati, sacrifice to Kane, and sacrifice to Mathlan. And that one allows us to recruit Black Arcs, which are our mobile bombardment hubs, recruitment centers, and replenishment um, boats. So these are these you get these based on uh, when you get a collection of cities, you do certain commands, right? Um, yeah, so when right. you when you get a certain number of slaves, um, you also may need to research specific technology or deploy an agent or something like that or recruit an agent. Um, I can go through those in a bit if we want. Um, in fact, yeah, so the Sacrifice to Hikati requires you to um, perform an action with a Sorceress hero. The uh, Sacrifice to Atharti requires you to have the Demand Highborn Hostages commandment on a province activated. And... The sacrifice to Cain requires you to um, enslave three sets of captives after a battle. Um, and for the Black Ark, for the sacrifice to Mathlan, you need to un uh, you need to build the slave pen to unlock that one. So they each kind of have you can't just get them straight away, which is quite cool. Um, they each require cool. certain things to be done to get it. But uh, back over to Apollo in his. I guess you're you're very much like kind of chaosy volcanic lands where you are the ancient city of quintex yeah yeah it's it's not you know i don't a lot, have a lot of like skaven issues right now it's just more like dealing with these rival dark elves and trying to convince them to uh worship my little boy my <laughs> little son um but i think i'm actually going to take my first settlement here go for iron spike i should have enough especially with that hydra uh, so let's go ahead and do that nice yeah have, have you is, is it is it being called fluffy yet no, you know, I think I'm going to go with Hank. Hank go with the Han Hydra. Hank the Hydra. I like it. I like it. Hank the Hydra. Uh, Hank. I'm, I'm sure some people might be suggesting unit names for us in the comment section. Unfortunately, we've got to kind of pre-record all this before we release it to you guys. 
Right. Um, but obviously, we'll definitely bear in mind some cool names that you'll suggest for future campaigns, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, also, I'm my public word is not great, and I think it's because I have this building. It's the Catacombs of Quintex. Oh, okay. Um, that looks nice. It gives me, yeah, it gives me a ton of money, 600 plus 20 growth and plus 60% income from all buildings, but it does minus minus 30% public order. So kind of have to like pick, you know, if, if you, I mean, I'm going to leave it because my financial situation is not fantastic. So if I get a rebellion, not a big deal, I'll just, you know, fight them off, but. It's free, free leveling for Marathi. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I'm just out of range of attacking this settlement. Oh, I am Spike. Mm. Yeah. Go ahead and just end the turn and send it back to my boy. Thanks, yeah, man. we were saying the relationship uh, of the, between these two character, characters reminds us of um, Shrek 2. Uh, Prince Charming and the, uh, fairy, the fairy god. Oh, god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mommy. <laughs> uh, um. I'm waiting for someone to make a parody video of that once the once the game's out. <laughs> a yeah, mod yeah. that just, I don't know if it can change voice lines to just Prince Charming and the Fairy Godmother. That would be amazing. Because <laughs> the more you think about it, the more it's true. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's literally, I'm just going to re recruit some more units. That's all I'm doing this turn at Har uh, Caldera. That's all I'm going to do. I've got an artisan's house there, which is our income line, um, our income building. Actually, at Nagaron, I do really want to quickly highlight, I get... Well, Apollo's got his kind of legendary buildings now, or his like faction specific ones. I can get the Black Tower of Malekith when I get the um, Nagarond settlement uh, to tier 5. And that legendary palace costs 16k, but I get plus 2 public order faction wide, plus 10 public order in Nagarond, uh, plus 2 lord recruit rank faction wide, and plus 5% tax rate uh, faction wide, as well as uh, recruitment capacity plus 2. And there's also the Towers of the Blackguard as well, which are a great buff for all my Blackguard units, uh, which is pretty awesome. Plus you can get Black Roads, which I think I think you can get them as well, Apollo. Maybe maybe it's just for Nagarond, actually. But they're, they're good for campaign map movement range, uh, growth, income from trade, and income from slaves, which are all pretty nice things to have. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's pretty dark, like, organizing slaves and, like, I don't know, it's just... I love it. Dark Elves, man. They're messed up people. Oh, I can see Clan Septic. Uh -oh. They're 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 standing by some ruins. I wonder I wonder if those ruins might be infested, Apollo. I mean, my. I... <laughs> <laughs> so weird, man. The relationship. <laughs> it's like I think you're in love with your mom. <laughs> I think I think according to some things I've read, it's it's a lot more. Than yeah, that. yeah. It's a little. It's not called the uh, cult of pleasure for Destroy for nothing. Yeah. Family family dinners must be weird. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Uh, I think I'm just gonna auto resolve this one. I don't know it's still it's pretty close. Um, I think we got it. So let's just start auto resolving. Just kind of keep up the pace of the campaign so we can kind of get further into it. Yeah, we do want to push towards those those rituals, and we need to gain more scrolls of Hecarthy to uh, yes. to do that we need 700 for the first the ritual oh right oh you want to talk about how you can did we talk about how you can take uh, certain cities that gives you uh, more scrolls no go ahead go ahead okay so basically uh during the campaign you'll get a quest or a mention to go after uh, strategic cities that have more scrolls which will help you get to the rituals a little bit faster um so you can kind of see in the map on my side where there's a little like little spotlight it almost looks like. So that's kind of like the location of the city where if you take it, you can take the scrolls, but it is going to be a hot spot though. You know, people yeah. are going to want that. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. And I've got one to the north, Grond, which uh, ritual resource site constructing a temple of Hecarthy here uh, will provide a steady stream of scrolls of Hecarthy. So you'll get them just by, um, I think through gaining some settlements, they you can see they they add a certain number of scrolls of Hecarthy per turn, and you can get I think slightly more. Um, I no, you can't actually upgrade to get more, but yeah, certain places if you take them, build the 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 uh, temple site will increase the number you get. So that's going to help put you ahead in the race at the top here. So we can see everyone's pretty much at the same place, Loth um, Lothurn, uh, Clan Moors. Um, Hexatile, oh, yeah, which, is the, which is the Lizardmen. 
Um, we can all see we're all at the sort of same level. Um, but because we're working together, our scrolls, I think, are cumulative. Yeah, yeah, so, I think so. Because yeah. I think if you play the single player, you only need 350 scrolls for the first ritual. So we need 700. So that's right, nice. Right. So I guess, in a way, if you wanted to, in your own co-ops, you could have one player focus on getting more scrolls and the other one building up an economy or something like that. Um, yeah. It, like, there's so much, like, there's so many options that I just love about this campaign that makes it so immersive and really interesting. Um, but yeah, should we talk about what happens when you start a ritual, or do you want to save that? I think we should we should save that for another episode, I think. Possibly okay, we we'll get a save. bit closer. So. I'm just going to say it's awesome, all right? <laughs> so just get ready for that hopefully we can do that in this this let's play Sweet. Uh, but yeah i think i'm i'm good to go i i've uh, i sacked and uh or looted and captured the settlement um rebuilt some buildings i can now get some bleak swords oh nice. i got some swordsmen yeah uh and then i'll be moving on to the moon shard which would be the complete little like collection of of cities there they can start doing some commands uh but yeah we'll pass it on to the king of campaigns. <laughs> no, no. no pressure. <laughs> <sighs> right, so what am I going for? I've got, I've unlocked two more building slots. Um, and see, so yeah, I can't build any landmarks, my kind of legendary buildings and stuff. I can build this uh, saw, this uh, marble quarry. To give me some income plus minus 20% construction cost for all buildings, all regions in this province, which does sound like a pretty good idea. So let's pop that in, and we do have a bit of a public order problem, so let's go for torture posts as well for now. We need to upgrade this as soon as possible, so we do kind of want some more growth. Hopefully we can do that when we take out the Skaven, because we'll get all the province. So I'm going to move my army over to the border, and I'm going to recruit three more units. Although saying that, actually, I probably don't have enough money, because I've just spent it on those buildings so yeah. what i'm gonna do is cancel the torture pens and then i'll have enough to go in this this following turn i mean i think you could just go in and attack i don't even think you need the units i just like, don't know how many they've got hidden under there yeah i uh, mean i don't think i can reach it this turn so i kind of might as well grab a couple of extra units that's true yes malachith looks so awesome when he's standing there recruiting <laughs> yeah it's like join me he gets um, a a cold one as his mount at level eight, and then a chariot, and then his uh, his black dragon, uh, Seraphon, oh, which that's looks awesome. awesome at level eighteen. Wait, so. so you don't the final mount isn't uh, my character? <laughs> <laughs> that's what many of the comments I've seen have suggested. Yeah, but uh, well, not today, mother. Not today. Yeah. Uh, you're doing good. I'm proud of you. Uh, thanks, Mum. Um, I'm sorry I didn't send a card last Mother's Day. I, I'm a little heartbroken, but <laughs> I understand. I understand. That's my turn done. Oh, yeah, these guys. I need to actually look at diplomacy. I haven't actually even delved into I, that yet. Yeah, I was just going to say, I always forget when I play campaigns because I'm so, like, military-focused. Oh, Skaven are running away to the altar wow. of ultimate darkness. That sounds like a lovely place, doesn't it? <laughs> That's an awesome name. Ultimate Darkness. Oh, they've, oh, just, they've they just swapped regroup. armies over. I think they, they sent okay. one over into the altar, I think, where they're hiding underground. So, I mean, that is that is a, a, a kind of a good way to keep track of where the Skaven might be living, is watch where their armies go, because likely they'll be sort of waiting above a Skaven-infested settlement. Uh, or the ruins, I should say, of a settlement. How you doing, mummy? So, doing pretty well. Um, working on my next technology here. I'm gonna go with battle as business. Okay. Like you did. Yeah. Um, I've got one more I turn think, for that. Yeah. Um, okay, so I actually have two of the same buildings. Uh, so I'm actually gonna change that up. So I'm gonna go for something that would give me better public order. Yep. Is that in um, Iron Spike? Yeah, Iron Spike. I'm gonna. Oh, I can't build it yet. I have to demolish it but yeah but i can uh improve the the dark hold so i'm gonna do that um but yeah i think we're gonna move out and go for moon moon shard don't okay. think i'll reach there in one turn but unify your 
province? Yeah, my province, and then I can... I'll probably, after I take this, probably head um, east, kind of towards the the bleak coast. Oh, yeah, you want to try and get yeah. that uh, scroll site. Yeah, for sure. I think once I've dealt um, with the Skaven, that's what I'm going to do as well. Yeah, then we can get closer to that ritual. Um, but, so, what factions do you want to stay friendly with? Because I want to try to stay, you know, on the same page, same page on when it comes to the d diplomacy here. Um, I'd like to try and be friendly with um, Hag uh, Grief, is it? Or Grief? Uh, oh, north. yeah, yeah. Let's stay friendly okay. with them. Um, and I'd like to stay friendly with Ha uh, Ganeth as well to the east of me. But other than okay. that, they're all fair game. <laughs> okay, cool. So um, I'll probably just form uh, some maybe non aggression yeah. hacks. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I mean, we can confederate up with other Dark Elf factions as well. So that's something. I'll definitely do some diplomacy in my next turn. Yeah, for sure. Unfortunately, I can't really trade with anyone yet. Yeah, unfortunately, we're we're divided by mountains, so we can't trade with each other at the moment. Yeah, it sucks. Um, but that's all right. We got slaves. Let's uh, end the turn here. Back to you. Beautiful. Okay, yeah. So I've got income from post battle loot plus ten percent, and income from raiding plus fifteen. Battlers business is going to be a bit rebellion at Nagron. I think something as well that should be mentioned about Warhammer Two is that they've really done. Um, quite a good job of making notifications a lot more prominent um you get a lot more kind of alerts about things that are going on not just for your faction but around you as well and the notification um tool as well which would normally be pop up if you were about to enter and hadn't done something that's quite useful yeah. as well for keeping track of various bits and pieces and you can change the notification second uh, settings via the little cog down the bottom right by the number of turns you've played as well so you can get um notifications on all of these various scenarios Ooh. which is quite useful i'm gonna jump into my diplomacy and i don't know why it throws me down to you every time i go on diplomacy it's just like just check in with your mum. okay fine <laughs> so let's see if we can get a non-aggression pact with it. these guys no. oh no rejected corvishish that's the name um okay well i fine i won't i won't trade with you Dreadlord, awaiting command. Dreadlord, awaiting command. Fear my malice. <laughs> Fear my malice. Please. Yeah, they're so goth, man. Ooh, trade agreement. Let's do that. If you yes, insist. thank you. I do insist. Oh, nice. The Dracula Coven. Um, yeah, they're increasing. What about you guys? Noble of Nagaroth. You're over by the Welcome Sea of Chill. Sounds port. like a lovely place. Choose your words, <laughs> Seems pretty chill. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Sea of Chill. They probably uh, do a lot of Netflix and chilling over there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. So they'll take a non-aggression pact, which is a shame, because I don't want to do a non-aggression pact with you, Grond, because I actually want to kill you. Because you have <laughs> the Scroll of Hecathi territory. I should make friends with the ones you're at war with, which are Arganath. Oh, I'm actually already. I've got a non-aggression and military expert. I should have checked this earlier. Silly, <laughs> yeah. silly Lionheart. This will be I, am, I just formed a non-aggression with them. So oh, that's probably form. why they accepted it. I was trying to form a uh, defensive alliance. I've got like a moderate chance of it succeeding. Unfortunately, it was it was not successful. I think that's all I can do for now. So yeah, there's lots of lots of dark elves that we can um, confederate with. But let's go and kill these Skaven. No let's do it. Oh, look let's at that! They got. So it does look very much in our favor. Do you reckon we should fight this one, Apollo? I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, feeling a battle. It? It's been too long. Yeah, let's okay. do it, man. Let's jump on in. Let's take a look. Let's scout the terrain first. Take a look at what it, what it's going to be. So it's going to be another underground. Um, oh no, actually no. We're outside the settlement because we're attacking the army outside the tundra, uh, Ooh, outside on the tundra. Nice. So yeah, we have got this forest in front of us. So let's jump on in. Oh nice. Oh, I was hoping I'd be one more level ahead for the next battle because I wanted to unlock Malakith's blade wind ability. Um, but actually, no, I think I need to be two levels ahead, because I've got to upgrade Chill Wind first. Which would add, uh, if I upgrade my Chill Wind spell, then I'll get uh, frost, uh, improved Frostbite. Ooh, lots of forest. Wow. That's it's really thick. And, like, the the colors as well of this sort of, this battle, it's all quite muted and and uh, and dark and, like, ashen, which I quite like. Yeah, yeah. 
Also, I love this. I don't know if they did this in the first one or not, but like when you hover over the trees, the brush, the vegetation kind of just disappears. They they did have that option they added in. I think you had to toggle it. Whereas I don't know if oh, maybe okay. I just got it. We've just got it enabled by default. I'm actually going to pull back and see if they'll come out of the tree line to us. Just because I think we're going to get really ambushed by all the Skaven forces. If uh... That's true. So I'm going to give you all the missile troops again. All right. And I'm just literally going to make up a solid infantry line. Because I reckon... I kind of feel like... Uh, going to be... Uh, sort of gladiator style Teutonburg Forest, just uh, <laughs> yeah, waiting man. for the barbarians to, to charge us. That is, yeah. That would there be epic. Actually, All right, this hopefully time, they do. I'm going to place Malekith at the flank so I can just pop his chill wind down. The okay. line. Yeah, it should be really good. That's sweet. Love these dark shards. They look so cool with crossbows. Yeah, yeah, you always like envision elves with like composite or long bows. Yeah. But it's so cool to see them with like these crazy like the sort of dark, deep purple and gold of their armor just looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. It kind of looks like as well. I don't know actually I, I want to see what they they look like when they fight in melee because it kind of looks like they've got blades coming out of the crossbow. I wonder if they actually act people they with do. that. They've got yeah, they've they got swords as well. But I don't know if they, they like switch. just jab them with their crossbows <laughs> oh that's true that's like a little bayonet there yeah sort of the two prongs okay so oh look there's a little there's a little settlement over off to the right i haven't seen before um, oh can you actually oh you can't i can't draw it but by the red where i've just i don't know yeah you can see, I see that on the mini map let's make that a bit bigger it's as well like, i think it's our little dark elf camp <laughs> yeah i kind of see some little purple cauldrons yeah in there. that's cool. yeah that's screaming dark elf that's, that's screaming dark elf that's <laughs> That's Dark Elf 101. <laughs> um, okay, it looks like they are coming towards us. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm just going to sort of swing around like that. Moving up a little bit. All right, cool. Yeah, just kind of. Yeah. You can probably move up as well. Oh, an army ability has spawned. Okay, so yeah, they've got their army ability, which is the menace below. So they've just actually spawned some clan rats over here. Which will degrade over time, so that may not actually be a threat to us once they come. I think they've just tried to bolster their numbers um, early on. Right, we can see their, their first force, because those are the reinforcements coming in over there on the right. The first force is right in front of us, and it's... The general. Um, Fest, Festit, the Dominator. Maybe you should talk to, <laughs> maybe you should talk to Marathi. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Cult of Pleasure, got stuff going on there. Um, so you've got the Reaper Bolt Thrower at the back. Yeah, just kind of moving it up a little bit. Nice. I'm going to focus down their general. Nice. Crossbow should open fire pretty soon. Oh, my God. Do you want me to push forward, or are you going to pull back with your missile troops? I'll pull back. Okay. I'll do that, that right bolt thrower. now. Run, guys. And they've just made it. Oh, that hit my own unit. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, the <laughs> angle is not good. Retarget. Uh, Retarget. Retarget. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go for the other army back there. Yeah, there's quite a lot of them coming in there. I'm actually going to swing around a couple of the spear units if I can, because they're going to attack us hard on that right. If oh, I yeah, can, yeah. If I can get Malekith to pop his spell, I will. Let's see if that will work. Nice. Caught some of those oh, night runners. Nice. Now I'm going to focus the artillery down on these guys. Nice. Okay, yes. I'm going to send a unit of spears after them, because I want Malekith in the middle. There are also army abilities for the Dark Elves. Um, like, you get them in, in certain provinces. So if we were fighting this in my home province of Nagarond, then there'd be an ability. I think it's... it's I have just like Lure of the Queen or something like that, which basically it's like massive um, nets of Amintok of, like, freezing your units in place. Uh, or freezing enemy units in place, I should say. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Ice wall. I love that ability. It is really satisfying. I just wish I had the uh, the blade spell as well, because that does just so, so much damage as a vortex. It'd be really useful against all these Skaven. Oh, yeah. We've nearly taken out their uh, their warlord here. So I've got my, my black guard of Nagarond. He's trying, he's trying. But he's not strong enough. Oh, they've broken my spears, though. That times. Yeah, we have to kill 1,426 okay. to get our... Uh, Just over halfway. Yeah. 
I mean, the battle's pretty much decided at this point. Yeah, we've got him. I do love how we keep kind of getting, as you said, like these waves and waves of Skaven as their morale steadies again and they charge back on in. I think that's really cool. Yeah. It does help Seems make the battles slightly longer as well, which is, I know, something we both sort of said we'd like to see longer battles. Yeah, yeah, I think everyone's kind of has that, that issue with Warhammer is just how quick the battles are, but it makes sense with the Skaven for them to break and come back, you know? It just seems like in their character. Yeah, I mean, I don't think the battles are insanely longer, but they do feel a bit longer. It looks like most most units do have a, a better kind of routing system that they will recover and come back a little bit. <laughs> Dark shards are getting thirsty for blood here. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, they're just charging forward, are they? Yeah, chasing them down. As well, we were saying as well, it looks like the lighting changes in battles as well. When yeah. it gets a bit darker or a bit lighter. It's like there's, um, it looks like there's clouds actually. The sort of a dynamic sky. That's awesome. I think. Yeah. I'm not sure if I can actually see. Oh, it looks like there is clouds moving above us, but I can, I can see like their shadows on the ground moving. So yeah, now it's now it's brighter over on this right hand side. I, that's really freaking cool. It's the little things. Yeah. Oh, oh wow! That guy just used like his pestilence spray Whoa. on me. Damn. That hurts. That's a lot. Malekith, go wreck the Grace here. Oh, we popped uh, murderous prowess. Oh, right. it's over now. <laughs> Dark elves murder them all. <laughs> Black guards. You guys go in there. Yeah, only it uh, doesn't. It's not um like a it doesn't last forever. I don't. Know. I think it's only like for ninety seconds. Yeah. So once it pops, you've got ninety seconds of of bonus power basically. It's just really, really yeah. satisfying. But at that point, like the battle's probably mostly over. Yeah. In but ninety seconds. I imagine it'll be. I wonder how that'll work in free for all. If that's still a, if that's a thing for you, because that would yeah, give you as a dark elf player quite a nice little late game advantage if you've got enough troops to make it worthwhile. I mean, if you've only got like one unit left, then uh... so yeah, if that's if that's the thing in multiplayer, take out the dark elf player first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, make sure he's that you know racking up kills. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna end the battle there. There there might be a few of them that survive because we're technically attacking the army outside the settlement rather than the settlement itself. But I think we should actually... We'll probably get away with it. Oh, nice. Look at your general. Oh, 142 God. kills. Let's see how many he gets when it totals up with uh, with those captured as well. Oh, yeah. That's good. All right. I am going to go for Enslave. I, I'm tempted to go for Murder Captives for the unit experience. It's only plus 100. But that, if you keep doing that, that's going to really add up. But we want, we want more slaves and we want the replenishment. I don't quite know how Skaven would replenish Dark Elves, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's true. What? Just, just just put a uh, Skaven in, like, some Dark Elf armor and just, like, go, go. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I'm upgrade Chill Wind, which adds additional effect to Frostbite. So it now, I think it, if we, if we cancel that, if we reset the skill point. So by default, the Frostbite is t minus 24 speed. And if we upgrade it. Uh, it looks like it now takes it to minus 48 speed and reload skill reduction, which is pretty cool. Well, that nice, might be the yeah. next. That might be the next level. Level one just upgrades it. So it does look like it makes more uh, some spells more powerful when you upgrade them now, which is something uh, I think is pretty good because it just didn't make much sense in Warhammer One to upgrade most spells because it was just cooldown. Yeah, and that was normally skill points better spell elsewhere spent elsewhere. Uh, right, so we've got a bit of loot from there, which is always nice. Like me some loot. I've gained a banner, Scarecrow banner. Oh, nice, yeah. Oh, yes, another rank. So that means I can get my Blade Wind. I'm going to pop that on the Black Guard. And that's going to be the complete province, right? Yep, so I can issue a commandment then. I'm going to go for Loot and Occupy again, because we've already got a rebellion happening soon. So Might as well. Yeah. Might as well make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> and with that done... I'm first of all going to upgrade Malekith to get that Blade Wind Vortex ability, which is just an awesome spell. I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, but the other thing I want to do is see if I can actually make peace 
with the Skaven Clan Septic. Because we've kind of given them a pretty good spanking there. In fact, wow, I can actually offer them a non-aggression and like defensive alliance straight away from that. <laughs> really? really? Yeah, I'm going to go for a non-aggression with them. Uh, I would love a trade agreement. Uh, I'm not going to go for military access, though. Thing is, with military access with them, I'm never going to know if I'm trespassing against them because they're just going to be <laughs> underground true. hidden. Although it looks like they're at the um, Caracas of Cripple Peak. Well, that sounds fun. Um, I'm going <laughs> to demand some money out of them as well. Who knows? Those Skaven might be trespassing you right now as you speak. Exactly. I'd never know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks like I can get a lot of money out of them. Okay. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, that was rejected. Okay, sorry, sorry. I asked for a bit too much. Sorry. Great, now they're going to attack you. Yeah, yeah. just like, yes, yes, kill, kill. You insult me. All right, if I go to 21,000, that should be... Uh, 21,000, sorry, 2,100. That would be insane if I got 21k from them. <laughs> right, let's oh, let's same. leave it with that. Yes, 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 they accepted. Good, good. So it's improving my relations with them, but they still kind of hate me. Um, I wonder... I want to get you guys... Speak. On side. And I will gladly hear you take an on aggression. No. Okay, how about this? How about I offer you a medium gift? Oh. Yeah. No, I have accepted. You know. I don't think they'll take a non-aggression straight away. Foolish but request. that gift is going to improve their relationship with me. So we'll leave that. We'll leave that for now. Uh, I do need to bring this army back, but we can't move any further this turn. So Nagarond, you are going to have rebellion soon. And like, oh, I've got two buildings. Two of the same. Um, let's repair the conscription hall there and destroy it at my capital because then we can get some more tier 5 stuff. Uh, and let's go for the torch post for that public order that we were going to have some problems with very soon. Oh, and we can go for more research. I'm going to go for founded on tyranny, which will give us more growth. And then go towards exploit feuds. In fact, I'll just queue them up. There we go. Um, oh, oh, I, haven't, yeah. I that, haven't set that building to repair either. That is smart. Really deal with that... Uh... Public order. Yeah. I'm going to get one more spear unit, then I've got a full 20 stack. And... Oh, we have yes, of course. I can get my provincial um, Kamama, which I'm going to have to demand highborn hostages, which won't be much use right now, but it's going to uh, unlock the sacrifice to Athari, Athari rather, uh, the right, um, which will give me plus eight public order all provinces for five turns when I trigger that. And on turn start, lords that have a chance to gain loyalty because we haven't come across this yet, but when we recruit another lord, you'll see that they've got a loyalty range at the top right. Um, and if they get too low a loyalty, they they will possibly rebel. Oh, I've actually <laughs> I've actually recruited one. But, okay, this will highlight my point. I've highlighted, I've okay. recruited a lord. So we can see he's actually got eight loyalty. So he was in the, I think, three to nine range. So he's actually worked out pretty well. Um, he's a dread lord. I am going to get rid of him because we don't need another army just yet. But that's how that that's, works. That's a good way to destroy loyalty. Yeah, just disband him straight away. I think, like, will, he, will he hate me? Oh, no, actually, he still likes me. He's still got eight loyalty. It's all good. So I can actually see... Um, what his loyalty is. That might actually be a kind of a good way to work it out, to work out which lords are going to be worthwhile. Oh yeah, just hire them and hire them and them. disband them if you don't need them. So rebellions formed in my lands because I have very bad public order. <laughs> Whoopsie. Plan oh, I'm septic. talking to the vermin. Oh, are they talking to you? They, do they want? Yeah, to, they want. They want a non-aggression pack. Oh, that's that's the ones I just treated with. Yeah. You yeah, you're probably like, it's, speak to my mother when you're done with me as well. Like, okay. <laughs> I'll accept that. There we go. So your province uh, command is that that gives you uh, extra public order, right? Yeah, the one I've gone for the demand um, highborn hostages. It's plus four public order. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for that one too. That'll also unlock the uh, the the right to sacrifice to um, Athati, which will be quite useful for just stabilizing our early settlements, as we're probably going a bit overboard with the number of slaves. But slaves <laughs> equal more more money. So what are you at? Uh, I'm a, a number of slaves. I have uh, 471 in Nagarond, and I've got the request additional slaves at the moment. But I don't know if that's going to make any difference, just because we don't have any other provinces to share it across. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's true. I'm assuming I'm getting all of them by default. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I should do that too. I should do the increased slaves. All right, cool. Um, so I'm hurt. actually an iron spike. I'm going to build um, 
It's similar to your... I'm going to build the Cultist Gathering, which gives me plus two corruption and public order. Oh, nice. So I kind of help out with that. Spread the corruption, because it's a ladder. <laughs> um, <laughs> corruption is a ladder. And then uh, next turn, unfortunately, I'm just short of attacking Moonshard, but that will complete my province. Um, I guess I should really look at diplomacy. I'm so bad at diplomacy. Like, I never give anyone gifts or anything, but... <laughs> I'm actually I mean, looking I... to see... Oh, I've, I've found my building. It's the Altar of Cain, um, which d which deals with corruption. But the reason why it didn't jump out at me, because it didn't say corruption, it just says untainted plus six. Um, so that's obviously reducing any corruption because there's so because there's three types of corruption now, vamp vampiric, chaos, and skaven. I guess they needed to go oh. for a, you know, a term that would just be a counter to all of that. So it's untainted plus six. Altar of Cain is what will help reduce... Uh, corruption in my lands. That's pretty cool. I didn't know there's so much corruption. Oh, sweet. I can perform the sacrifice to um, Atharti. Nice. Boom. That's going to give a huge... And that's for five turns, right? You can. Yeah, although I'm not going to pop it yet because I'm currently getting plus 20 public order because of the rebellion. Um, that's true. So I'm actually going to force March Malekith back and we'll fight that army next turn. So we'll pop the right next turn. And I'm actually going to upgrade... I would prefer to upgrade that again. But let's go for this. Um, because I want to upgrade this building. And I've just destroyed my conscription halls. We could go for some cavalry. Cavalry might be a good idea if we're going up mm. against some dark elves. Uh, soon, because yeah. I want to take out that uh, ritual resource site. Because we want to get moving on that. Or I could wait to level 3. Oh, there's the war hydra. <laughs> I want my own. I want my own hydra. <laughs> Cold one chariots, cold one knights. Oh wow, tier four. He'll That's... never be Hank though. He'll never be Hank, no. Hank the Hydra. Uh, Dark Rider. I feel like that that would be a good one to go for. Get some cavalry in there. We can get shades, which are missile infantry. Shades with great swords. What? So they're missile infantry, and then they swap out to a great sword when they go in battle. And there's shades with dual weapons, missile infantry. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go oh, for yeah. the Plateau of Dark Steeds. And, uh, yeah, Malekith's going to attack next turn. I've got plenty of slaves. Uh, we also have a decline percentage per turn, but we're not triggering in that. So when you get a certain... When you keep building up slaves, you'll... Uh, over time, that will decrease, so you will need to keep getting more. There are various rights and technologies which will increase or decrease the rate of decline and things like that. Uh, I am going to end cool. turn again. Back over to you. All right. Finally, I can take this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, Chaos Rebellion. No. Oh no, and okay. Bleak Cold sending an army in. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, Mummy, um, are you in trouble? <laughs> don't worry, dear. I've got this. <laughs> um, <laughs> we got another Dark Elf uh, faction that is looking for uh, a non-aggression pact, but I don't think they're in the region of the scrolls. Pretty. Oh yeah, they're not. So I can agree to this. Because I want that city with the scrolls. Go for the scrolls. The yeah. Elder Scroll. No, wait. Wrong game. Oh, wait. Well, <laughs> <laughs> wrong fantasy. Uh, peace Treaty. Who's this? Oh, some random gray herd. Okay, whatever. Beastmen. Fine. I don't care. I don't care about you. All right. So, yeah, this is really interesting. So, I've got a rebellion and enemies near uh, the ancient city. So, maybe they'll fight each other? Hopefully. <laughs> Which is a possibility. Are you just going to be uh, like, think... screw that, I'm going to take Moonshot anyway. Yeah, and then head north and deal with that stuff. Yeah. So. I'm sure I'm sure Hank the Hydra will have room for, for them as well in his belly. Yeah, of course. So, we'll just go ahead and uh, just auto-resolve this one. Because we're not fighting anything special here. Hank there we go. I didn't... Yeah, he did. He, he'll get hungry again. Don't worry, though. All right, there we go. And um, go ahead and repair that. And that looks pretty good. So now I have all the regions. I can go ahead and do a command. I think I'm going to do the same thing with the highborn hostages, which yeah. will improve my um, public order. Yeah, once the, once the rebellion's gone, at least. But more importantly, it'll get you that right. Yes, yes. Um, and I Sorry, think I'm you gonna a, start. Are you escaping now? 
Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Martha, what's oh, going man. on? <laughs> Hanging around too many Skaven, Skaven I really, boys. I really hope CA don't mind the mother-son roleplay here, but they really should have specified in, in, the, in the email if we went to mother-son roleplay. <laughs> yeah, well... They're gonna get it, so they're gonna get it anyway. They're gonna be more clear next time. Um, yeah, I think I'll just keep on getting spells for um, my character here. Beautiful. And um, increase slave income. Heck yeah, get that. And that looks pretty good. I like the size of my army. Um, my money's actually not doing so hot, so I, I don't think I can really expand my forces just yet. Uh, so we'll just end the turn here. Beautiful. Right, nice. and it's over to me, and that's where we're going to wrap up this first episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed this exclusive first look at the cult campaign for the Dark Elves, with myself playing as Malekith and Pixelated Apollo playing as Marathi, uh, the Cult of Pleasure. Um, we will be back with another one of these videos. We're planning um, two uploads a day of this um, for kind of the upload slots that we've got for this series. So, there'll be another episode out later on today. Uh, so Couple make, hours. So yeah. make sure you tune in for that as well. And same again tomorrow and the day after. So if you want to check out Pixelated Apollo's view, if you're watching on my video, you can find a link to his channel down in the description. And uh, that goes the same to my viewers. If you guys want to check out Lionheart's view, which you should, I mean, because then you can see like everything that's going on. Thanks, mom. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to wrap it up, guys. And this has been really fun, Lionheart. I can't wait for the next one. Yeah. Catch you guys on the next one. Ciao for now.